Okay, here's a question on revenue maximization for you to test your understanding of this, this diagram. We're told a revenue maximization monopolist will produce OI units of output where all of the following are true except which option? Four options for you to choose. One of them is correct. Have a go. Press the pause button. I'll be back in a second with the right answer. So the correct answer to this question is D. The monopolist achieves productive efficiency. That is incorrect. Let's work through the answers. A. Well, the revenue maximizing monopolist produces where marginal revenue is zero. So option A is correct. That's why the marginal revenue cuts the x-axis. Any more production, of course, means that marginal revenue becomes negative. So if they went beyond the output of Y, total revenue would fall. It also produces a, at a higher output level than a profit maximizing monopolist. The output level of profit maximization is H. So the output I is higher and, of course, the price will be lower in a monopoly. So B is correct. And C is right. The monopoly can still make some abnormal profit. That will be equal to area B, E, F, C. Because the price they're charging at output OI is still above the unit cost of production. So hence, options A, B and C are all correct. Option D is incorrect. Because if the firm does not produce at the minimum point of the average cost curve, where MC cuts AE, uh, AC, where the unit cost of production are minimised, then that is the condition for productive efficiency. So D is the wrong answer, and therefore the right answer to this question.